Yeah. Hawks Twins TV, now on YouTube. Yeah, it's only $3.99 a month. It's 13 cents a day. That's damn near free. Um, so I didn't uh, take it seriously. Who can say they don't watch porn? Yeah, who? Everybody's having sex. I learned that when I was, um, it was probably like six or seven. We was going down the road, man. We lived in the country. Mom and daddy pulled over on the, uh, on the side of the road, right? Oh, was in the back seat. Don't, 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 don't put that out there, man. It's just some things you just don't put out there. Man. Daddy parked the car and said, keep him, keep him, get the hell out the car. So me and Kevin's outside playing, right? <laughs> we outside playing by the car. What was he doing? Playing hot and seat? But we was outside playing by the car, right? And then the windows of the uh, car fogged up and the car started bouncing. Yeah, they was in there fighting. <laughs> he was in there fighting. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, he was. Then we get in the car and smell like ass. Man. <laughs> No, I didn't smell. That's all I can remember when I was a little kid. But he has fight, man. Of course it's going to smell Kevin, like that. shut up. You always act stupid. Man, why everybody, you got to tell him everything, man? I ain't tell him everything. You just tell everybody all your secrets, man. Why can't you just hold something deep inside until you die? <laughs> Don't y'all want the bees free? <laughs> my mama, um, my mama grew up in the Jim Crow South, and she, I mean, the story she used to tell me. Yeah. You couldn't go to a restaurant, you're walking out. Oh, I can have a couple slices of pizza. Oh, we don't serve your kind in here. My yeah. mama went through all of that. Yeah. But she always voted Democrat. You know why? She didn't know shit about politics. <laughs> <laughs> she loved her some Obama, though, before she passed. <laughs> she used to walk around this house in the house in Obama shirt. Didn't know, man. She didn't know any better, man. <laughs> But mama was a good woman. I wish she was still alive today. Yeah. I bet you she see you black people out here tearing your damn <laughs> cities up and what's going on in America. Yeah. I bet you if my mama's alive today, she'll be going to the polls with us. Yeah. Hey, man. I remember when mama brought these home, man. Yeah. She my said, Keith and Kevin, y'all come over here. We got a surprise for y'all. What, mama? What you got for me and Kiki, mama? Bipolar. Yeah, she might be bipolar. There's a lot of bipolar people out there that don't even know it. Yeah. To have these uh, mood swings and stuff. Yeah, I didn't even know what bipolar was until like two, three years ago, man. I started reading up on it. I was like, damn, half my family's bipolar. <laughs> I remember my mama, man. My oh, mama, man. man. She would snap on you quicker than... <laughs> Mama, 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 mama be like, hey, it's a nice day outside, it's sunny, it's warm, let's go outside. I don't want to go outside, mama. You're going outside with me. <laughs> <laughs> that was mama, man. Like, I'd be driving down the road, she'd fall asleep, hey, hey, it's a nice, pretty day out here. Don't up, it's a truck coming. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, man. Yeah. Looking back on it, man, my mama had some... My mom was bipolar, man. <laughs> and a lot of you people don't even realize a lot of people in your family's got bipolar. That is probably one of the most or undiagnosed medical conditions out there, man. Yeah. Have cats. Yeah. But anyway, when I read this story, I was laughing, man, because I remember being a little kid. When we grew up, man, we was poor, man. Yeah, man. Then you motherfuckers better not be laughing at because being poor ain't funny, man. Yeah, this shit ain't funny, man. Growing up poor, man. Especially don't... in Virginia. You be cold and hungry. Yeah, man. You know how many times, man, we was out front of that 7-Eleven with pantyhose in my pocket. <laughs> Finna rob that bitch. I was gonna go in there and rob. I didn't even have a gun, a knife, or nothing. I was just gonna go in there and grab me about, about six, seven Twinkies and some soda. Give me some energy, man. I need some carbs. <laughs> right? But anyway, I remember we, we had, like, in, down in Southern Virginia, you have some Big ass rats in your house. I remember yeah. mama would, mama and dad would go buy these rat traps about this damn big, right? <laughs> like bear traps. And then, <laughs> yeah, they're like a damn bear trap, right? Yeah. And I remember mama then wouldn't even put the damn cheese to set the rat trap. They would make us do it. Cause you're scared you're gonna slam the damn yeah, fingers. That, that damn trap come over, man. All your fingers is gone. <laughs> right? So we set this damn rat trap, put some cheese on it so when that rat come by, yeah. Yeah, smell that cheese. Well, it was a good team, man. I set the trap. You have the cheese on it. I was like, hey, on the yeah. count of three, I'm going to let this shit go, man. Yeah. So I hope it don't snap on your <laughs> shit. <laughs> right? So 
we'd go to sleep at night, you know, you we have a have that damn rat trap right by that damn hole that damn rat had ate out the side of our house. That was right. a big ass rat, man. You know what? The thing about that damn trap, when that damn trap went off, man, it sounded like a stick of dynamite. <laughs> right? But look at that. shit was loud as hell. And it seemed like every time the damn trap would go off, it'd be in the middle of the night, it'd be two, three in the morning, it'd be all asleep. Yep. And that damn rat trap go off, you hear that damn rat going, ah! like screaming and shit, right? Yeah, and it'll man. wake you up. Mom's hope. Oh, Got that sucker. Got that sucker. We got him. We got him, y'all hear? Dad said, we got that son of a bitch. <laughs> right? I think it's a strong possibility. Might, some kind of, um. She might have some type of, uh, uh, psychological issue. I'm not saying she's crazy, but she might have a chemical imbalance. She needs some medication to clear that up, but she ain't gonna really know, or you're not gonna really know yeah. until she goes see a doctor. Maybe it's not psychological. Maybe she's just got some behavioral problems. Yeah, I think mama had a little bit of that too. <laughs> Brian wrote this down, he was pissed. No, he gives him to little man, he's a baby, man. He's crying. <laughs> Sound like he's crying in this email, man. Alright, look here. 25, you better not be living in the house with your mama. Let me tell you what, when I turned 18, I got the hell out of that. That morning I say, Mama, I love you. See you later. I'ma go get my own place. I'ma get me a VCR, some porn tapes. I'm gonna bring girls to my place. That's what I was doing. I had, I had my dreams in front of me. Yeah, I couldn't wait till I grew up, had my own place, had my own VCR, had my own uh, sex tapes, my own TV. Man. I used to hate it, man, when I'd be in my room jacking off, and mom like, Keith! Keith, supper ready. I called you 30 minutes ago. What you doing in that, Keith? Is Kevin in that too? What are y'all some? <laughs> I ain't gonna say it. Mama drop the F word. Hey, yeah, you gotta be politically correct, man. L B T D Q. I couldn't wait to get out the damn house. Took them plies out. Threw them at me. I could still, even though that shit happened all the way back then, I could still see them damn plies fucking turning, coming right at my fucking head. Bam! Right here, split my shit down to the white meat. I was crying. And I was delirious. I was delirious. I mean, I was dizzy. You was disheveled. I was all fucked up, blood trickling down my face. <coughs> Went running over to my mama, crying, hysterical. Mama said, "Who the fuck did that to you?" Pointed to him. <coughs> he was way down the road, just looking, cause they know they had fucked up. My mom was cussing out. Bring your ass back up here. I got something. <laughs> that shit happened when I was four, man. Pair of fucking pliers. Man, when I was 18, I said, Mom, I love you. See you later. I'm out. Time for me to bust. Time for me to do my thing. Time for me to start bringing women home and having them screaming and clawing at my back. Yeah. Man, I left my house when I was 19, man. The only reason why I didn't leave sooner, man, is because I had to go to high school next year. <laughs> yeah, I was gone. I left you. You left my ass, Hey, me a job, man. I was sitting down at the house, man. I was, man, I was sad, man. You just left me. That was fucked up. Kel, why are you cussing? I told you this is asshole. Oh, I, I forgot, man. I'm sorry. I thought he fucking meant it, man. He did. Especially when I blacked out and came too, man. Man, goddamn, that beat the shit out of us, man. And then you right there laying on the like, goddamn, I can't even feel my damn fingers and toes. <laughs> then about five seconds later, daddy come back out the house and start beating us again. <laughs> Blacked <laughs> out again, woke up, mom right there, daddy tried to, y'all's daddy tried to kill y'all's ass. What the hell was y'all thinking? Yeah. So, I mean. Hey, but if you want the, you want the, the real adult advice. Well, we don't hold nothing back. You go to hogstwins.tv. It's now on YouTube. This is for little kids right here. We give unlicensed yeah. professional adult advice over there. We actually give demonstrations over there. <laughs> <laughs> we give demonstrations over there. Yeah. We show you what's going down. It's a bunch of how-to videos over there. <laughs> yeah. And it's only $3.99 a month. That's damn near three dollars, which means it's damn near free. Got and it's professional. Got nice microphones, expensive camera. We take it dead extra mile. <laughs> Links in the description box, and it's right here 
on YouTube. Yeah.